All right then, so in the last video, we created this form component right here, and we output the authors in the select box. You'll notice now I've deleted those other random ones that were appearing from MLab. So it's just Patrick Rothfuss, Brandon Sanderson, and Terry Pratchett now. So we have this component kind of visually sorted, but obviously at the minute, if we type in stuff here and go to add, it's not gonna do anything. It's just kind of reloading the page, right? So we need to hook up that kind of functionality eventually to add the data. But before we do that, I just wanna talk about one little thing, kind of take a sidestep, if you will. And that is how we can just externalize our queries. So yeah, at the minute, we're defining our queries right here inside the component files, and we do it in add book and also book list. But sometimes we might have multiple queries in different components, and it might get a bit messy inside these components. So what I like to do is sometimes externalize my queries into a separate file. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that in this tutorial. So let's go into source and create a new folder first of all, and I'll call this folder queries. And inside that folder, let's create a new file and call this queries.js. Okay. So now we have queries.js. And remember, when we're making uh, kind of queries, we need to use that GQL from Apollo Boost. So I'm gonna paste this up here. This is what we've been using here, remember, to make these queries, right? So we're gonna need that in this file because we're gonna be constructing those queries here. And all we're gonna do is copy from here. In fact, we'll cut because we don't want it in this file anymore. And we'll paste it in queries. So that was book list. And also we'll go to this file where we made this query, cut it from there, and we'll paste this here as well, all right? So we still have those queries here. We're making them in this separate file. And now we need to export them. So we'll say export, and we're exporting multiple things. So let's do it in an object. We'll say we're export get author query, and also get books query, and author is plural, it's authors because we're getting all of them. So we're exporting both of those things from this file now. So since we're exporting them, we can access them in the other files. So over here in book list, we want the get books query. So we can now import that by saying import get books query from and it's going to be from out of the components directory. So we need to jump out of that by saying double dot forward slash. Then we need to go into the queries folder. Then we say forward slash queries again, okay? Because that's the name of the file, queries.js. So we're importing this get books query from that file. So we should still be able to use it just the same as we did before down here. Should have no kind of difference to doing it this way. Um, we can now get rid of this because we don't need GQL in this file. We've already imported it right here where we do use it, okay? So let's save that. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go to add book over here. Again, we can get rid of this GQL and below this, we'll import this time, get authors query from the same place, double dot forward slash to jump out of the components directory, then into the queries folder, then the queries file, all right? So again, we are importing this, so therefore we can use it just the same way down here, all right? So let's save this now and make sure everything still works on the front end. We can see all of those, but let's refresh just in case. No errors over here. We can see all of the books there and we can see all of the authors right here. And again, let's make sure we have no errors in the consoles as well. No, we don't. Awesome. So that was just a quick sidestep to show you how we can kind of neaten up our component files so we don't have to keep writing our queries in the components themselves. You can do if you want. I just like to externalize them, keep them in a queries file, and then we can require or import them when we need them.